give r- 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 rating star seeds, light workers, healers, seers, readers, dreamers, cheaters, non believers, overachievers, and any in betweeners catching the fever. Welcome back to Shamanic Awakening, brought to you in part by beautiful viewers like you. And the Lick Tribe, if this is your first time, allow me to introduce myself. The name is Chief Moki Wish, and I will be your companion, your shaman, your guide as we channel the divine. Thank you all for sharing your space, energy, and your time, and allowing me to share mine. What we do here is sing, dance, laugh, cry, fart, stink, and channel messages for the collective. So if it resonates with you, my friend, you know what to do. Jump in the chat, drop a comment, like, share, subscribe, and don't fight the vibe if it feels right. (laughs) Without further ado, let us activate the third eye. And take a dive inside. Alrighty, my friends. Today is very special. We're going to do something very special for you beautiful souls. Somebody out there is going to get a past life. Ancestor. Something is coming through for somebody about their previous lifetimes and the gifts that have been acquired for you by your guides, by your spirit. Your spirit is very ancient, my friend. Let's go ahead. So today we're going to use the uh, corrupted tarot deck. With the wild unknown archetypes. And we have the sacred creator's oracle. So we're going to use all three of these decks here. And if I feel like I need to pull anything else, I'll make sure I let you know what I pull. But we also have the wild unknown uh, tarot and the light seer's tarot right here. Also have some sacred symbols and a sultan tarot. Just in case. So check it out, my friend. This is what we're going to do. We are going to pull as many of these archetype cards as I feel necessary. I'm feeling three. I love these cards. These cards are so... I don't know. I, I can sense it. Right about now, I would like to thank Spirit for this beautiful soul tribe and beautiful love and beautiful light. Continue to guide me to be a beacon of light in the darkness. I surrender, illuminate the path I must follow. I am a vessel for unconditional love. I trust unconditionally in the divine nurturance. Right about now, I would like to call upon the light beings, galactic guides, ancient ancestors, and angels for the highest high of the anima mundi. I'm asking you for three archetype cards, spirit, for somebody's highest good of a past life connection. To the ancestors gifts what are the gifts we are to receive what is the gift you are trying to give me the forest wow look at that looks like the uh The Northern Lights. It looks like the Northern Lights. I'm getting big time something about like, I don't know if you've ever visited there, but that place is calling me. Something has to do with your gift. 
that is like there's strong um, I'm getting very strong pulls over there could be like an astronomer or something I don't know look at these beautiful cars dude I haven't even pulled all these cards yet. Wow. That is freaking beautiful, y'all. We got the Mystic and the Siren. And there's like a mermaid tail or something. And a portal. And the Mystic, though. <laughs> Yo, somebody's got a gift. That keeps giving, y'all. Um, so, this is like big time. Uh, somebody needs to take a spiritual retreat to the Northern Lights. If you have been there recently or something like that is coming through. Um, there's some kind of like... I'm getting some like Atlantis stuff here right now, like for real. I want to look into that. The eternal child is at the bottom. What does this gift mean to me? How can I allow myself to receive this gift? What do my ancestors want me to know? Okay, so, yeah, I would look into the Northern Lights and how that connects to uh, Atlantis. Why? I have no idea. That's just what's coming through. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull from the uh, Corrupted Tarot now. By the way, y'all, these tracks you hear in the background are my own tracks. I put them together. Thank you for being here with me and hanging out and trying to uh, elevate your experience. All righty, Spirit, give us some clues here. What is this about? What is this uh, past life gift? Gift from the ancestor. What is this about? Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a card already flipped over. The King of Wands. This could be for a fire sign, quite possibly. We got the Five of Swords. And the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Just kidding. This could be a sister. <laughs> this could be a sister. No, this is definitely going to be about walking away from somebody. Yeah, big time. It's like somebody's awakening has begun because they're cutting someone off or walking away from someone. Oh, confirmation. <laughs> okay, Spirit, so what is this about? Where are they walking away to? Somebody's very smart, like very like keen. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. We got the... Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody walking away for somebody younger. I don't know. This this is not what I was expecting from the ancestors. This could be a... Uh, <laughs> this is like its own little story right here. So check it out. It's like somebody's walking away from somebody to follow their dream. And the opportunity is in the stars. So 
So somebody out there is following their cosmic origin, like they can sense their connection to the stars and they're no longer going to stay somewhere that is not serving that purpose. All right, I'm going to pull some more over here. King of Wands, Five of Swords. What is this about, Spirit? How can... How can we heal these wounds, these ancestral wounds? Yeah, that's that's what this is, y'all. Ancestral wounds. Oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. So by taking the opportunity, right, to walk away. Seven of Wands. Instead of. Clarity here. The Knight of Swords. This deck is pretty um, intense, right? And the Six of Wands. Wow, you wanna see something crazy? Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Interesting. So this is five, seven, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So somebody walked away from someone because of their pride or their ego. And it was actually for a dream, for a vision. And for this person over here, that was like the opportunity to exit. This is a separate like story here. I want to know more about that. Knight of Swords. They had conviction. So whoever walked away was convinced that this would be an opportunity to create some kind of vision that they have and they are victorious in this they were absolutely justified so what does this all have to do about gifts <laughs> let's see I'm going to ask the um, the wild unknown See if we can get some clarity here. Alrighty, Spirit. So what is the gift that the ancestors are trying to give me?
Dude, that's dope. We got the Queen of Swords up top. We got the Queen of Swords right here. Again. So, check it out. Sometimes we have to harness our egos in a beneficial way for the highest good of all. But first, for your highest good, my friend. The ego is a very important tool that can be utilized in a healthy manner, channeled for a noble purpose that can benefit the greater good of all. Sometimes these decisions are not exactly apparent, right? You don't see why something has to end or fall apart in order to make room for something bigger. And being it, we got the mystic, the siren, and the forest. Somebody here is very, very spiritual, my friend, and your ancestors are trying to give you a gift. This is the Ten of Pentacles, which represents the legacy, my friend. The real, the true wealth is wisdom and that comes from your ancestors. True power is in empowering others. When you empower others, we empower each other. And my friends, we are much more powerful together. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Leo. So I see here that you are very um, decisive, very convicted in your decisions, right? That's that is a very good strength. Don't let anybody tell you that. What you believe to be true to your soul's content stop you from doing what you feel you need to do, what you feel necessary. If you have to cut somebody off that you love, right, you can do so in a healthy way by setting clear boundaries, my friend. So basically, when you let somebody go that's not serving your highest purpose or your, you know, your highest good is not in alignment with theirs, right? Then you allow there to be room for you to get your gifts. So, yeah, the Northern Lights. <laughs> the Northern Lights came in pretty uh, pretty clearly. All right, so. We're going to ask a few more questions here with the uh, Sacred Creators deck. By the way, y'all, don't forget to check out the Single Card Daily Tarot. If you are trying to learn the, the, the tarot, we're going to go through them one by one each day. Alrighty, Spirit. So here's the, here's the questions. Thank you so much for these messages from the ancestors. What can I, what do my ancestors want me to know? Fill your cup with sacred giggles. Nice what I'm saying y'all like your soul only wants one thing and that is to be content to be joyful whatever brings you joy that could be anything right like when your soul is content my friend your spirit is vibrating at such a high frequency that 
people won't recognize you. Okay, how can I heal my ancestral wounds? And the last question was, how can I honor my ancestors? Wow. Wow, bro. I think whoever this is for is doing a fantastic, they're doing phenomenally in healing ancestor wounds. So I said, how can I heal my ancestor ancestral wounds? The answer is, you are epic. Be epic, my friend. I'm getting a lot here that somebody doesn't have like the um, confidence that they should because... They are absolutely mystic. They could be a freaking mermaid ancestor. Like, really, though, we got the siren, which is a mermaid's tail. Okay. The mystic and the forest. Yo, this is big. This is big. This is saying you're doing phenomenally on your ancestral Wounds like you are aware that you are healing these generational wounds. Okay, then I asked, How can I honor my ancestors? Celebrate your wins. I'm telling you, y'all, you would be victorious in following your spirit's joy. Okay, this is what I mean. Maybe one day you wake up and you say, I want to shave my head, and you're like, Wait, what? But you were listening to your inner voice, like your spirit's content, right? You heard yourself tell yourself to cut, shave your hair, right? You're like, that's crazy. I can't do that. Why would I do that, right? In one timeline, you don't. You don't shave your head. You continue whatever look you got, right? In the other one, you shave your head. By enacting in that joy, that eternal child energy, right? You have just stepped through a portal to another possibility. Okay? So, what I'm saying to somebody is to stop doubting their selves. Your spirit. Stop like denying your spirit. Choose who you are becoming. That's what I'm saying. Look at that. There's two different directions you can go. <laughs> just like that example I just gave. All right. So, yeah, check it out. It's going to be hard work, right? But your ancestors have worked hard for this as well. The number four card right here with the eternal child. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. We got another seven right here and another four. But yeah, so basically, my friend, what your ancestors want to give you the gift of is... Confidence in yourself. Know that you are gifted. You are a mystic. Could have mermaids with you also. Alrighty, my friends. On that note, that resonated with you. Don't forget to blow that button up. Until the next time, my friends, may the light find you all well, love, light, healing, longevity, peace, and harmony. Namaste, stellar, my beautiful souls. Bye.